So you want to restart your YouTube channel but don't know how. Step 1. Get celebrity endorsement. Hello? Hey Tom? Hey, it's Matt Shock. Um, listen, I need a favor. Do you have a second? Yeah, what, what, what can I do for you? Well, I'm thinking about doing Story Sundays again, and we were kind of declining in viewership, so I was hoping you'd be willing to promote it for me, and if it's not too much trouble to maybe do it for free? Show me the money! Tom, I don't have any money. The cash flow is just not there. That's why I'm asking you to do it for free. Show me the money! English. Do you speak it? I don't have any money. Crazy f psychopath. But I will rip your tits off if you don't get me those theaters. Perfect. Hey, Tugger Nuts, I've got you on speakerphone. All right, all right, all right, I tell you. It is good to hear your voice, McConaughey. Now you're going to get those. Who, who is this? What do you mean, who is this? It's Shock Doc, baby. Listen, I need a favor. And how'd you get this phone? Adam, it's Tom Cruise. Yeah, look, that's not important. Listen, Story Sundays, back on the map, but I need your help. And let me tell you something, shitbird. I've never even heard of your little agency. Uh, not an agency. A uh, web series. This is Last Grossman. Who is this? This is Matt Shock. Okay, fuckface. First, take a big step back and literally fuck your own face! What? Whatever you're thinking, you better think again. Otherwise, I'm going to have to head down there and I will fuck you up! Happy Hallow's Eve to all of you. Welcome to the long-awaited 14th episode of Story Sundays. We are back with a vengeance. Now, given that it's October, Halloween, a time for spooks and scares, I thought I would tell you a horror story that just happened to me this last weekend. So this is the story of the time I almost got kidnapped. I happened to be working out last Saturday, and I had finished my workout, and I got into my car and this person approached my car and knocked on my window. And I just thought it was a beggar. And I thought it will be really easy to just say I don't have any money, send the person on his way, and that would be that. So I open my door, and the person points all the way over to two people who are standing over near a car, and he says, excuse me, sir, uh, my car has run out of gas. My wife, my children, and my newborn are in the car. Can you give me a ride to the gas station? And the gas station was only a block away, and I could tell that this guy seemed like he needed help. So I decided to do a good thing and give him a ride to the gas station. So he hops in my car, and we're driving to the gas station, and he happens to get a call from his wife. And his wife says that they have friends over in Brooklyn Park who have a gas card for $62 and a gas can, and they can have it if they come up with $30 for these objects. And this is kind of where all the red flags started popping up for me, because I couldn't see his phone, so I didn't know if the conversation he was having was real. And it seemed suspicious that all of a sudden he needed this money. And to me, it sounded a lot like I was going to end up going to Brooklyn Park. So this is where I kind of started getting antsy that I had just picked up a stranger off the street and that it might not end well. So he realized this conversation that he just had with his wife with me, that they've got friends, Brooklyn Park, gas card, gas can, and he needs 30 bucks. Well, I had just finished working out. I was sweaty. Obviously, this guy couldn't tell that because he started asking me for the money. And I said, I don't have any money because I had just come from working out and I don't take my wallet to, with me when I work out. And we were pulling into the gas station, so I said, maybe some of these people here will have some money. Thinking that he would get out of the car and ask someone else for money. 
But he must have misheard me because he then started talking about how we could pull into the gas station, he could wash my car, and I would give him $30, then drive him to Brooklyn Park. And at this point, I started getting very, very scared because now this stranger was expecting me to give him $30, drive him all the way to Brooklyn Park, and I had never even met this person. Keep in mind, this was just supposed to be a drive to the gas station. So I say that I don't have the money, and of course... He wants to go to my apartment. Well, at this point, I'm terrified because I'm worried that I'm steps away from being kidnapped or killed or something because I don't know this person. And it's suddenly hitting me little by little how shady what I've just done is. So I decide the best thing to do would be to go to my apartment to get this money. But instead of getting this money, getting my roommate because... I need someone to get me out of this situation. So I say, sure, absolutely, we can go to my apartment, not a problem. And I'm driving, and he's calling his wife again, saying that we're going to my apartment to get the money. Huh, little does he know. Meanwhile, I'm sitting in the driver's side, trying to drive, secretly texting my roommate, Scott, that I'm in trouble, and I don't know what's going on, and he's watching me so intently and everything that I can't send a text. So we get to my apartment, and he says... I don't want to intrude. You just go in and get the money, and then we'll go from there. So I went in and knocked on my roommate's door, and I frantically explained everything. And honestly, I thought he would think that I was kidding, because why would you believe that there was a man in my car asking me for money? And I didn't know what to do, and I was very flustered, and I was worried. And so my roommate calmed me down and said, I'm just going to give him five bucks and tell him to scram. And so he left. But anyways... It all worked out, I was not kidnapped or killed, and that's it. The safest advice I can give to each and every one of you is do not ever invite a stranger into your car. Thanks for watching Story Sundays. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with anyone you wish. Remember, don't let strangers into your car, and we'll see you again very soon. Tom, I told you, cash flow is just not there. That we have to go over to their house, that they have a gas card and everything.